Hey, folks, Chris Vandeviver here from whylogicprorules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. And today I want to talk about stereo panning. This is something that generates a lot of confusion and frankly, for good reason. And that's because for a long, long time, Logic didn't actually have an intuitive way of managing panning for stereo tracks. Instead, we had to use plugins to kind of work around this weird quirk of the Logic Pan Pot. But with recent updates, we do finally have true stereo panning. So I want to dissect all this for you. I have a stereo track here, and we're going to take a listen to it. But watch the meters as it plays. You'll see that there are two meters bouncing around, which will confirm that this is a stereo track. So you can see that there's two signals. Now, one would think if you tilt the pan pot in either left or right, then the whole signal is being tilted to the left or right. We use panning to move instruments around the stereo spectrum to add width, to give dynamic, all sorts of great stuff. Well, you would think that, but that's not actually the case and hadn't been for a long time. In fact, while this is the pan pot for mono tracks where there's only one signal, for stereo tracks, it's a balance pot. Now, what's the difference? Balance essentially is picking the choice of hearing one side or the other, or some degree of both, but it's never both the left and right tilted to one side or the other. It's just we hear only the left or only the right. Let me demonstrate. So in this case, when I tilt it all the way to the right, we're only hearing the right channel and to the left, only the left channel. And you can actually hear as it gets closer to center that there's two kind of distinct signals occurring. So for a long time, the option was to use the direction mixer within the imaging plugins. The direction mixer gave us the opportunity to pan stereo tracks and also adjust the stereo spread of these stereo tracks. Let me show you. So, you know, that was handy, but not the most intuitive option. When you think of panning, you reach for the pan pot. And then we have to worry about where the direction mixer is in terms of the plug-in chain. You know, generally, we'd like it to be last. So this was the workaround for a long time, but now Logic does have true stereo panning. To access this, you have to control click the pan pot, which gives us three options. Currently checked is the balance pot, the default mode for stereo tracks. There's stereo pan, which is true stereo panning, and binaural pan, which is like a more complex panning option. So we'll pick stereo pan. Suddenly the pan pot has a green ring around it. So this operates just like that direction mixer. You can adjust the stereo spread, which is the green ring. And if you grab one of the two handles on each end, you can adjust the stereo spread. And the black line in the middle tells us where we're panning to in the stereo spectrum. So let me show you. First, I'm gonna start out by just collapsing the stereo signal. So as you could hear, the stereo width got smaller and then expanded back out. Now, when I turn this pan pot to the left or right, we'll hear the full signal pan to the left or right, not just part of the signal. We won't just hear the left or the right. We'll hear the whole signal change directions. So you can put the two together. Let's pan it and adjust the stereo width. So there's a lot of power behind this and it's way more intuitive because the pan pot now acts like a pan pot for stereo tracks and it's in the channel strip exactly where you expect to use it. You can still use the direction mixer, that's fine. The balance option is useful in certain cases. For example, perhaps you have a piano track and the low notes are 
kind of becoming not discernible as compared to the sparkly top end. So you could actually balance it more towards the lower end of the piano. So that top end isn't as loud. But for true stereo panning, you're going to want to control click and go to stereo pan. So I hope that was helpful to you as always. If it was, I highly suggest subscribing to the YouTube channel or subscribing on the website, whylogicprorules.com. Every week, I'm posting new materials, new videos, new emails to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Thanks so much.